What's going on, my fellow miners? Welcome back. Today, we're going to look at an article that is actually on NiceHash. Uh, it's on their website. It's, um, it's a blog post. But I thought it was a really good article. So we're going to take a look at this and we're going to discuss it. Because there's a lot of really good points on here. And those of you guys who are new to mining and are curious as to what's going to happen when Ethereum goes away... As far as mining goes, well, this is what this subject is about. And make sure you guys are all hitting that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new because we are very, very close to 1,000 subs. And I need your help to get there. When we hit 1,000 subs, I'll be able to share community posts with you guys to give you some more content uh, that's not just videos. So I get to share um you know what i'm mining things like that like di different pictures and we can take polls and things things of that nature and we get to interact a little bit more outside of just my videos and the comment section so help me out hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're new there's a lot of new people on the channel and i really appreciate you guys watching with that let's go ahead and get to the video gpu mining will thrive in 2022 uh, this is something that I have discussed before on the channel, and this is something that uh, I, I feel is a topic that needs to be discussed anyways, uh, because there, like I said, there's a lot of new people to mining, and they're curious as to what's going to happen uh, when uh, when Ethereum goes full proof of, sta uh, proof of stake. So Ethereum will no longer be mined, so what will happen? Ethereum, Ethereum moving to proof of stake has been in the pipeline for years, but it's finally getting closer to happening. Most likely, we will see the merge take place in January next year. So what does it mean for GPU mining? Is it really the end? And is doomsday coming? Here are some of the things that likely to happen, and it looks pretty good for GPU miners. Let me go ahead and... Uh, there we go. That's better. All right. Less LHR to worry about. If you've been mining for a while, you'll know that LHR light hash rate is. This was NVIDIA's attempt to ensure that it was more difficult to use GPUs for mining. However, LHR mainly affects Ethereum mining, which means if, uh, if Ethereum cannot be mined anymore, your GPU will be able to mine other algorithms pretty much on full hash power. Well, even with Ethereum here, you if you have an LHR card, most likely you're mining other coins. Uh, you're mining coins like Ravencoin, Conflux, or Ergo. Uh, those are the three most common coins uh, that people are mining with their LHR cards. Now, with the NB Miner Unlock, we some people are still mine or are mining Ethereum. Uh, it really just depends on the profitability of the day, uh, or you know, just the profitability of the time for that coin. Uh, there are some other algorithms that are affected, mainly the memory-intensive ones, but nowhere near the impact as Ethereum. It's unlikely NVIDIA will add another version of LHR to the 3000 series since they are already working on the 4000 series. This is true. And even if they do, it only took a few months for developers to find a workaround to bypass the LHR anyways. And more people will find ways as time goes by. Needless to say, if you bought a GPU recently, you will be able to mine with them for a long time. And most likely with even better hash rates once Ethereum goes to proof of stake. That looks like it says POS, which would be piece of anyways the playing field will open up when ethereum stops mining this will leave a space where less uh where there is less of a gap between profitability of other algorithms which is always good for competitiveness and will likely mean there is room for rapid growth we can expect to see algorithms pick up hash rate and pick up pace in their market cycle well okay so currently currently uh ravencoin conflux and ergo are very close in Sorry, I hit my my desk. Are very close in profitability to uh, to each other, as well as very very close to the profitability of Ethereum. Uh, Ergo is probably the closest to Ethereum. It's still not as profitable if you're able to fully mine Ethereum without uh, with full hash power. But for those who are mining uh, on an LHR card, Ethereum is very very close. In competitiveness as far as profitability goes so saying that it's going to open up room for that it's not it's not entirely true considering how it's already there but the problem with the coins such as um, ethereum not ethereum such as ergo yeah it's late it's 4 30 a.m uh, such as ergo raven coin and conflux the problem is that they are not um 
widely accepted currencies just yet in the scheme of things such as Coinbase, uh, Crypto.com. Actually, is Crypto.com? No, I don't I think you can. I'd have to double check on Crypto.com. But anyways, uh, it's not so easy to trade them on, on places like Coinbase and um, the more common, more popular uh, um, trade uh, traders <laughs> trade <laughs> exchanges. Uh, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to use them and to sell them for other coins or trade them for other coins. Uh, it's not like Ethereum where if you have Ethereum, you're holding Ethereum, you can trade Ethereum for other coins such as Bitcoin, Algorand, uh, uh, ADA, and you know, things like that. So it's it makes it a little bit more difficult with these coins currently. But once they uh, once they become more popular and they become tradable on other uh, other exchanges, then then things have changed for sure. That I think that's the most important thing is that once they become available for trading, then there we go. Then, then we're good to go. Miners will not stop mining. As long as there are coins to mine, there will always be. Miners will mine. This means that once Ethereum goes to proof of stake, miners will switch to other algorithms. Well, those may not seem profitable now. They are. Uh, that's largely because all the attention is on Ethereum. Once it's gone, the surge in hash rate to other algorithms will increase the level of interest in the other coins, which will push up their value. Difficulty will rise, but so will prices. If we look back historically since crypto has been around, it is very often that the case that the higher the hash rate, the higher the price of the coin. Difficulty will be harder, but prices will go up. Most proof-of-work blockchains need to go up in value when the mining increases simply because it means more people are using that coin, i.e. exchanging it to fiat to pay costs, etc., thereby increasing liquidity. Value is very closely related to usage in any economic model, be it gold, cash, or crypto. This is due to simple economics, but the more, uh, the more something is used by people, the higher its value, which is why Bitcoin is still number one coin. More hash rate means more people are mining, which means more people are using it exchanging it and sending the coins around therefore raising the value as we know the higher the hash rate the harder the difficulty and therefore the less profit until the coins prices rise so we will likely see in a few months where profits are low but this will be offset by the induced gain in value of the coins being mined any regulation will favor gpu mining over asics we all know more regulation of the crypto industry is coming and as we saw in china some countries are taking steps against mining however this is a very tricky area to actually regulate in practice, and those likely to be more affected are big ASIC farms, since those are very obvious on the grind. Small miners with a few GPUs have nothing to worry about since it's physically impossible to stop them as they are spread over millions of users' homes. Proof of stake is still relatively new. While proof of stake does uh, does some does solve some of the issues of proof of work, such as environmental impact and scalability, it has the downside of encouraging centralized wealth. The move to pre proof of stake is also a very risky one, as it decreases liquidity, especially in the way that Casper is being implemented in Ethereum. This could backfire in the long term. We have yet to see the real world impact of proof of stake being implemented, as only a few blockchains use it, and they have not been around for very long and are not used for direct payments in the way bitcoin is all right so a couple of things here for proof of stake there are some coins that uh that are proof of stake um or tokens uh which are proof of stake we we just say coin as as a general broad term uh, but for example so some some coins that i'm holding uh algorand is a is a coin that i'm holding and have been holding for eight months uh which has been doing very very well as of recently um, I hold it and for holding it, I get paid 4% APY, uh, that as, as proof of stake, you know, just holding the coin, um, in Coinbase, uh, another coin I'm holding is safe moon, right? So I'm holding safe moon, safe moon pays you in reflections. So just from holding safe moon, you gain more safe moon. Uh, another one is ever rise again, ever rise. They pay you in reflections. They pay you. In transactions so anytime there's transactions that are being done in Everrise, you get a percentage of that transaction uh, so uh, so you're constantly being paid in Everrise. again a proof of stake kind of coin so there are quite a few proof of stake coins or tokens that are out there and 
you know, I highly encourage you guys to actually look into those because the whole thing is you want your money to work for you. And the best way to do that is to stake your stake your currency, stake your income. Because if your money is just sitting there and not accruing any interest, then you're not making your money work for you. And basically you're just, it's just sitting there and it just goes up and down with the market value instead of uh, you accruing more of that currency and then over time accruing more money from that. Uh, let's see, let's go down. Decentralized algorithms will likely be favored. Uh, as coins like ETH become more centralized, there will be demand for strong decentralized versions as even Bitcoin mining is centralized to some extent as only large ASIC farms can mine it now. Other algorithms that are resistant ASIC mining are likely to gain popularity as they embody the original ethos of cryptocurrencies, economic freedom. Uh, nice has as nice. I always do this. Every time I say nice hash, it just comes out as nice ass. Uh, has many algorithms to mine. As we are not a mining pool, we make it very easy to change algorithms to mine, which is why I like nice hash because you don't have to worry about changing to the most profitable coin they do it for you but they pay you in bitcoin if that's a problem for you then and you just want to mine a specific coin then you just mine that specific coin but i mine bitcoin or i mine nice through nice hash get paid in bitcoin and then i go and buy the coin that i want so if i want to buy ethereum i go and buy ethereum if i want to buy uh, algorand i'll buy algorand if i want to buy um uh, ada shiba inu whatever i go and i buy it with my profits that i make from nice hash uh, we have over 30 different algorithms. A good number of them are suited to GPU mining and our software can automatically detect and switch to mine the most profitable. So when Ethereum goes, you have nothing to do. NiceHash will find the most profitable coin for you. And lastly, miners are tough people. We certainly are. Gosh dang it. At the end of the day, anyone who's been in crypto for a while is aware of the volatile nature of investments, and that's partly what makes it so attractive. The real trick with this industry is to be patient. Most profits dive for a month, maybe a few months, but just as things go down, they always go back up. Ask anyone who bought Bitcoin two years ago or five years ago and had the courage to wait. We ha have the grit to huddle or pay with crypto directly whenever possible and enjoy the ride. The more of us use crypto, the better for everyone. And inevitably, the industry will keep growing. So uh, things to take away from this article. While GPU mining is not going anywhere, it probably will get hit for a good while as Ethereum goes away and everybody switches to different algorithms uh, to mine. If you haven't already switched, that is. Um, I know my 3060 currently is mining ergo like i haven't set mining ergo for a week to see how much i mine spoiler it's only going to mine one ergo in a week i mean i i could i could tell you that without um without even finishing the week but it was an experiment that i wanted to do um i might actually just cut it short because it I, like i said the answer is it's only mining one ergo a week uh, but combined with my other cards i mean i could it would be mining a lot more then we have um, my microphone is messed up. Then we have, you know, like I mentioned before, other coins such as uh, Conflux and Ravencoin, uh, which I don't mine directly. I mine it through Nice Hash, and I get paid in Bitcoin. Like I said, uh, if I'm mining with my 3060 on Nice Hash, uh, although re recently it's been mining Ethereum, which is funny because it's an LHR card. Uh, and so with the NB miner unlock, it's become profitable to mine Ethereum on NiceHash. But I've actually talked about that in prior videos. You can go ahead and watch that. Uh, let me know your, your take. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you mining? Are you worried about the switch from Ethereum? If you are, honestly, I don't think you should be because like I, like I've been mentioning, like other people have been mentioning, like this article mentions GPU mining is not going anywhere. Uh, people who are th who are thinking, oh, GPU mining is going to be dead. We're going to see the 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 GPUs go back on the market. I... Look, mining is not solely the reason why the GPUs are not on the market. You know, people need to be aware that scalping is a thing. The scalpers are the ones who are actually taking the the uh, the GPUs away more so than miners are. Yeah, miners are getting GPUs, but the scalpers are the ones that are killing it for people who want to buy GPUs. 
So anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'm going to try to go get some sleep because it is oh, it's almost 4.45 in the morning. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Everybody, happy mining.